Okay, so there's two LEDs here on a circuit board that I designed in KiCad, and the LED on the right that says GPI02 next to it, right there, that one, is controllable through a kernel module that I wrote following a tutorial from Johannes for GNU Linux on YouTube, and there's a script that I wrote to modify or to send stuff into the uh, file that the kernel module makes. So it's echoing one into the GPIO driver, then waiting, then echoing two, uh, zero into the GPIO driver. And that should turn on and off the LED. Um, so I'm gonna run that script. Uh-oh. Nope. Uh, could not in ensure permission. Uh, okay. Looks like it tried to load the module even though I guess the module is already loaded. Okay, I'll have to fix that. Okay, so I found the problem. The problem is here uh, where it says LED pin. It used to say four. And then I saw, okay, well, it says four there, and it says four there, so, and I'm having to change it, and magic numbers are bad. Um, so I changed it to be a variable, and then I changed it in these two places, but I forgot to change it down here. So there's still the number four down there. So what happened was this code loaded, it reserved the uh, pin, and then it released a completely different pin. And now when I try to load this again, it tries to load, request this pin, but this pin hasn't been released from the last time it was loaded. So uh, I think what I can do to fix this is just comment out these lines that request the pin and set it to a value um, and then recompile and then reload the module and so it will not do that part. It'll not request the pins, but it will do this part and I'll have it free pin number four. Actually, I'll use the variable here uh, and here and here. Um, 17 is the button pin. I'll, I'm changing that one to a variable as well while I'm at it. Uh, yeah, and then after I do that, I should be able to hopefully, hey kitty, yeah. Uh, after I do that, hopefully I will be able to put the driver back to normal and load and unload the same pin, request and free the same pin every time, and then I won't get this error when I try to load it again. You can see it working up here. It, uh, it worked, it loaded, it set it to on, off, on, off, on, off, and then I tried to do it again and catch it on video, and it didn't work. So it said, uh, can I allocate this pin here? Oops, okay, I'm gonna go give that a shot. That worked. Uh, so I commented out these lines that request the pin, and I changed this down here to variables, and LED pin stands for the number two now, um, and it did before too. So it doesn't reserve the pin, but it does free the pin, and I ran it over here. I pulled those changes in and then compiled, and I, ran the kernel module with those changes so it doesn't request the pin uh, when this happens so it's able to actually successfully load and then I removed and that ran this code here and that released pin number two so both of those worked um, and now I will try uncommenting all of this code and then recompiling, reloading, and running the blink code, and hopefully this LED will blink. Okay, I uncommented this section of code, and that code is still there. Um, I ran make, which pulls in that code on the Raspberry Pi, and now I'm gonna try running blink bash, and let's see what happens. Hey, okay. Yes! <laughs> awesome. So when it's echoing zero, it turns off. Echo one, it turns on. 
and it's echoing into the file dev my GPIO driver. It worked. So I designed this board, I soldered the parts on, I wrote the kernel module driver, and everything is working together. And that's really neat.